Hi to everyone. This is Dr. V. N. S. R. Venkateswar Rao, working as an associate professor from the Department of Chemistry in Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad, by Lac Forty Three. So today I would like to give the topic on the lubricants, characteristics, and mechanism of the lubricants. First of all, we see what are the steps involved and what are the components involved in the uh, present topic. So the topics to be covered in today's session is nothing but definition, characteristics, thick film lubrication. thin film lubrication and extreme pressure lubrication so this is about the the topics to be covered in today's section so first of all we see definition of the lubricants so a lubricant is a substance usually organic introduced to reduce the friction between the surfaces in mutual contact which ultimately reduces the heat generated when the surfaces movement that means lubricant is mainly useful for the purpose of to reduce friction so that friction is caused by the movement of the surface in mutual contact to produce heat nothing, nothing but liberation of the heat that means it is a substance usually organic that means the lubricants are made with the organic substances that means involvement of the hydrocarbons involvement of the hydrocarbons and it is introduced in between the two reduce the friction friction means nothing but in order to uh, get the disturbance in between the mutual contact between the two layers okay so that means especially takes place the surface contact between the two layers so that is ultimately reduces by the heat generation when surfaces movement takes place so that's why these lubricants are the substances made with the organic materials and reduce the the friction between the mutual contact of two surfaces in liberation of the heating takes place and it may also have the function of the transmitting forces transporting foreign particles or heating or cooling the surfaces that means it involves the uh, different uh, conditions like uh, transmitting forces that means the forces are transmitted from one layer to another layer and transportation of the foreign particles nothing but uh, impurities are heating or cooling of the substances not only in heating phenomena even cooling of the surfaces it also reduces the friction in between the two layers and the property of the reducing friction is known as a lubricity that means uh, the reduction of the friction in between the mutual contact of the two layers the phenomena is nothing but a lubricity and the substances which are useful to act as a uh, lubricity uh, the substances which are act as a lubricity phenomena uh, that compounds are called as a lubricants that compounds are called as a lubricants so now let us see what are the characteristics of the this lubricants what are the characteristics of the this lubricants it is having high boiling point and a low freezing point in order to stay liquid within a wide range of the temperature so first of all we see for example water is a liquid what is the boiling point and what is the freezing point generally water is present in a liquid position so what is the boiling point boiling point means the liquid converts into a uh, water vapor that is the 100 degree centigrade and what is the freezing point freezing point means the water converted into a ice that means freezing will be takes place at 0 degree centigrade so these are the the high boiling point and low freezing point of the lubricants the lubricants are always low freezing point that means inversely proportional to freezing Point and directly proportional to boiling point. That means high boiling point. Okay, and high viscosity index. Viscosity index means um, it will be dragging force and uh, thermal stability. Thermal stability means even in uh, high temperature conditions, the lubricant should be stable. And hydraulic stability. Hydraulic means even in uh, water conditions or cold or heat conditions, it will have the high stability. and uh, demulsibility demulsibility means it is also uh, to reduce the friction like uh, phenomena and uh, corrosion prevention corrosion prevention means it uh, should not undergo any rusting takes place even in applied in between the two contact surface and high resistance to oxidation that means it should not react with the environmental oxygen so it is uh, chemically inert with the oxygen okay so first of all what are the characteristics of the boiling points high boiling point and low freezing point 
product and uh, it has a high viscosity index and uh, it should be stable towards the high temperatures and it is having hydraulic stability and uh, demulsibility and uh, it should not undergo any rusting takes place that is corrosion prevention and after that it should not react with the environmental oxygen so nothing but uh, high resistance to oxidation phenomena after that uh, we see what are the mechanisms involved in the lubricants that means lubrication film in between the two contact surfaces is thick enough and the two contact surfaces are separated completely by viscous oil film that means first of all the surfaces have a thick thick contact and these two surfaces are separated by a viscous oil film so that means the drying force is high that means at this time the frictional force of the two contact surfaces are determined by the viscous resistance of the lubricant and it can take a very small value that means coefficients of the friction can be 0.001 so that means the coefficients of the friction and it involves mainly three types of the mechanism first one is the thick film mechanism second one is the thin film mechanism and the third one is the extreme film mechanism so let us discuss with the, the first mechanism that is nothing but a thick film mechanism thick film mechanism so in the case of the thick film mechanism are hydrodynamic lubrication the thick film is also called as hydrodynamic lubrication occurs when non parallel rigid bearing uh, surfaces lubricated by a film fluid slide over each other and forming a converging wedge of the fluid and forming a lifting pressure lifting pressure that means if we see at the center of the load nothing but thick layer of the lubricant and the thickness is nearby 1000 angstrom units 1000 angstrom Units. Even the high load is applied from upward side. Even the high load is applied from the upward side. It should be stable. So that's why this is called as a thick film or hydrodynamic lubrication. It occurs mainly in non-parallel rigid bearing forces. Non-parallel. The condition is non-parallel and that surfaces are very very rigid. That means high stability. That means it should not react with the any chemical reactions okay and that film should be film fluid slide over each other film fluid okay and finally wedge fluid uh, and forming a lifting pressure so these are the conditions of the thick film mechanism after that we see thin film mechanism so it is formed by the where thick film lubrication fails that means previous uh, mechanism thick film the thick film fails then we move to thin film lubrication so this thin film lubrication or boundary lubrication is done for those cases in which continuous film in which continuous film of lubrication cannot persist and the direct metal to metal contact is possible that means in previous case we obtain the case non parallel surfaces but in the case of the thin film lubrication we see continuous film and the lubrication cannot persist and it will be takes place in between the, the mutual contact of the metal to metal the mutual contact of the metal to metal is possible so we see in uh, continuous film a and b and in between c we see fluid film fluid film and at the center we observe the ordered film and at the bottom we see absorbed film absorbed film and this is nothing but the solid surface the solid surface okay so this is about the thin film mechanism and after that we see finally extreme film lubrication so this extreme film lubrication or mechanism it will be applicable to the fast moving or sliding metallic surfaces under very high pressure under very high pressure produces a large amount of heat and temperature becomes very very high that means previous two mechanisms in c like thick film mechanism applicable to non parallel layers 
whereas thin film mechanism is applicable to continuous film and metal to metal contact but in the case of the extreme film mechanism applicable to the surfaces under high pressure and it produces a large amount of heat and temperature so this is the very very advanced mechanism compared to the previous thin and thick layer mechanisms and at high temperature the ordinary liquid lubricants decomposition takes place or even vaporizes at such condition the high temperature and fail to stick over the metallic surface so for the purpose normal lubricants are not applicable even advanced lubricants should be applicable to the extreme pressure lubrication to face such conditions of the extreme pressure to face such conditions of the extreme pressure additives are added to the mineral oil so this is the extreme pressure lubricants we see the diagram that means oil soluble tile and additives are present and polar head and polar head and before loading capacity before loading capacity so this is about the the extreme film mechanism picture so first of all to uh, face the extreme pressure conditions these lubricants are added to the mineral oil so at the left top we observe the oil soluble type and at the center we observe the additives and at the right side we observe the polar head polar head means sajus and at the bottom we observe the before loading capacity okay so this is about the the extreme film mechanism so this is about the, the overall types of the mechanisms involves mainly thick layer mechanism thin layer mechanism and extreme film uh, mechanism okay thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates